What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're going to take a look at the Collector's Edition and Special Editions of Black Ops 3 that you can actually pre-order now and are available separate to the of course standard copy of just the disc. These are the Special Editions so you get bonus stuff and I'll be breaking down all three of the packages you can get the different options, the prices, what is included and what's going to be worth it and what isn't worth it. So we're going to take a look at all these packages, of course these came out yesterday alongside the Comic Con reveal of the Zombies. If you haven't seen the Zombies trailer or gameplay I've got a link to my video which I made that which will be linked on screen right now and also in the description definitely make sure you check out the ton of information about the new zombies shadows of evil map and that's a really cool map i definitely cannot wait to get more information about that and of course stay tuned on the channel for more info as it comes out so first off we're going to take a look at the best edition you can get this is the most expensive one and this is the juggernaut edition so this is a very very interesting package and the actual theme the kind of main aspect of this is you get a juggernaut fridge so this is of course themed like the juggernaut per cola machine of course the one of the perks you can get within Call of Duty Zombies it's very iconic and we all remember it and this is actually what you get with it so it's a mini fridge you can store 12 cans of any drink in there so you can actually put like cans of coke or whatever inside your juggernaut mini fridge and it's an actual real fridge that you get so it's a pretty cool item to be honest in terms of most like pre-order bonuses you'd get like the RC car or the little like dragon fire drone and uh, night vision goggles they're all kind of cool but sort of gimmicky the mini fridge is actually pretty cool something you can actually use to store drinks in there so I guess it's quite functional and it's of course themed like the Juggernaut per coded machines. That's a very, very cool thing. That's, of course, the iconic part of the Juggernaut edition. I'll put a link in the description to Amazon if you want to check it out and kind of have a look at what the price range is and what's included. I'm not sure whether Amazon have sold out or not. It depends on when you're watching this video and what location you're in because different locations, of course, have different stock and different stores. There are different retailers that have different deals going on. So you do have to check around for your local location. I think Amazon's always a good bet to go and also Game and GameStop if you're in the UK or America. So there's a ton of retailers selling this stuff. And of course, this Juggernaut edition is what everyone is going after and it's the most expensive one. It currently is is going for roughly $200 or 180 pounds. Of course, the price ranges are a little bit different and they don't convert correctly over because foreign countries always end up paying a little bit more. I don't know why exactly, but they end up paying a little bit more because it doesn't convert correctly. But that's the rough prices. It could go down and some retailers could do sales, but currently it's around $200 or 180 pounds. There's some other stuff you get in this jug and on condition. It's actually really interesting. You get two actual camo packs from Black Ops 2. So you get the weaponized 115 pack and the cyborg pack. You might remember those are really cool camos in Black Ops 2. The Weaponized 1 and 5 was like glowing and you could see through it. It's a really, really cool camo and that's actually going to be in Black Ops 3. So if you get this package, you're going to get this personalization pack and they actually come in all three of these packs I'm about to show you. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to worry about which one you get. You're always going to get these camos in Black Ops 3 and Miles Player. You can see it on the ARK-7 Assault Rifle, just what it looks like. You also get these like art book things, which is kind of like concept art of some of the specialist characters. You get these Percola coasters, which of course themed of classic zombies perks. You also get these steel books. So of course your normal copy of the disc is going to come in this very cool steel book with some unique zombies and multiplayer art in it. You get the season pass which is probably one of the most cool parts about this because you get all four of the DLC packs that come out. So map pack number one, two, three and four which of course going to have like probably four multiplayer maps, one new zombie map and maybe some bonus stuff as well. But you're going to get all four of those DLC packs that come out in 2016 for Black Ops 3 and you don't have to worry about paying for those separately. You might also get some bonus access to some early weapons like Advanced Warfare. If you had a season pass you got early access says two weeks to the brand new weapons. So there's probably going to be some extra bonuses as well. You also get a very, very cool feature. This is the Giant, which is a zombies map. It's called the Giant, and it's a remake or kind of remastered version of De Reeds, which of course is German for the Giant. And that was a classic map that's in World at War Zombies and also slightly remastered for Black Ops 1. But uh, this is going to be fully remastered. It's going to continue the story with the four original characters. So of course, Takio, Richtofen, Nikolai, and Dempsey. And you're going to be able to continue where the story left off from Origins. And it's actually going to continue with the those characters that's really cool and that's of course going to be a remastered version of Doris which is a very very cool and very classic zombies map so it's called the giant and you're going to get that bonus map along with of course shadows of evil which is also going to be launching on the disc at launch on the 6th of november and finally you also get the soundtrack which is of course the score of black ops 3 so that's included as well and next i'm going to take a look at the hardened edition now this is a lot less probably about half as much of the stuff as the juggernaut edition and for the price ranges it's currently around 80 dollars or 70 pounds and that's again are rough prices that's roughly how it's going for and you get the steel book case of course a copy of the game you get the soundtrack as well you also get those two camos the weaponized one five and the egg cyborg pack you also get some artwork and you get the giant and zombies map so what you don't get is the season pass and you don't get those per cola coasters and you of course don't get that juggernaut fridge that's what you're missing with the hard edition i think the most important thing is that you don't get the season pass i remember all the old hard edition for call of duty games used to come with the 
season pass but you will not get that with this edition so i don't really think it's all that worth it to us but of course you do get some pretty cool stuff in this there's also a digital deluxe edition this is available on the playstation xbox and pc so you don't actually get a copy of the game it's a digital version and you're going to get of course no steelbook because there's no disc you're just going to get the two camos of course you can get the giant zombies and you get the season pass so because there's a season pass it's pretty cool and this currently is going for around 100 dollars or 80 pounds so let me in the comment section which one of these three are you going to be getting if any let me know if you pre-ordered any or which one do you think looks most interesting hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video give it a like rating if you did and if you want to stay up to date with the latest black ops 3 news you can follow me on twist in the description and also subscribe to this channel but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on the next one